What's up, nerds? Welcome to NGR Radio B-Sides, our Thursday show on our YouTube page. Go to youtube.com slash NGR Radio. Like, subscribe, and share, and find this show every Thursday. Also, download NGR Radio podcasts every Monday at 7 a.m. Yeah! So, Matt, topic, go. Ladies and gentlemen, but, excuse, excuse me. Don't worry, Thursday, bear with me. I'm sorry, but we are going to be playing. I thought that... Come on, Moose, you we know this. You participate, Chris Killian? I'm concerned. He's ready for it. Fly, Eagles, fly. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, and then is, Patriots. This is, well, this is not normally a this is not normally a sports thing, but I know Corey and I are sort. Well, Corey Moose and I. We all sort of follow sports to our varying degrees. Um, yes. I'm not super. I'm not super into the throw ball, but um, I enjoyed watching what uh, I did of the Eagles to the point where I was sort of on their side when they made the Super Bowl, and the Eagles won the Super Bowl. That's true. Um, <laughs> they did. The Super Bowl. I'm surprised you survived. It's like, freaking crazy. Yeah, I'm surprised you're, you're still well, alive. Like, there are people, literally, there are people eating horse poop and and, and things. Yeah, what? that, that, no, that wait, happened. No, go back. Wait, Rewind. Wait, wait. What? Yes, Rewind this. yes, yes, that happened. That's a story. At least, at least one of my coworkers at the hospital today told me that there was there there was there was a there was a news posting that someone ate horse poop in Philadelphia because of the Super Bowl win. And I saw someone say, you know, it's punch Santa in the face kind of crazy, not necessarily eat horse shit kind of crazy. Right. Um, I, I agree with that. That's but, you know, <laughs> but like this is uh this is this has kind of been a long time coming and I think it's kind of funny that uh, towards the end of the Patriots dynasty, uh, they get beat by the team that started the Patriots dynasty, um, as well as as well as that was a fucking team effort. That oh, I mean, yeah. that, that was one yeah. of. The, I mean, like, and and people are talking about uh, Justin Timberlake's halftime show, how it wasn't that great, and I actually think because this is the first time, maybe ever, that or at least ever in terms of the commercialization of the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. um, it was the first time that the game far outclassed uh, the halftime show. I mean, oh, like, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure the people yeah. on the side of any team that's one, like, no, nah, the game's always been better because we won that one. Yeah. Um, but, like, as someone, I mean, you know, I, yes, I was cheering for the Eagles just because, you know, uh, for a, a myriad of reasons we'll get into. But uh, I I think that as a, as a pure observer of of – sports in general and watching you know things play out that was a that was a good ass game of football and um uh as the eagle fan here as the true tried true bleeding green eagle fan here moose <laughs> how did it feel to watch your team win the super bowl it was awesome it was real it was surreal it was freaking crazy like they were like the pats were marching down the field and you're like well that's it there <laughs> Brady to Gronk Brady to Gronk yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, there it goes and then and then the the fumble was freaking awesome it's like and and Chris Collinsworth was like where's the Eagles D where's the Eagles D they should be pressure on there's no sacks there's no whatever and it's like because you can't let him wear you out you know what I mean like he will wear you down if you try he will beat you because he has such great, you know, I mean, their their team's usually really great no matter what receiver he has, you know, because yeah. because he's great, and so yeah, I mean, I, like, like legit Tom Brady, yeah, he's, he's great, the, the greatest quarterback of all time. Like the numbers don't argue that, right, right, anywhere. And, and so I feel like they played it smart, and then the defense stepped up when they needed it, and then you know it it was awesome it was awesome to see him try and go to to gronk and then the eagles were just like nope and just knocked it down it was mm -hmm. awesome it was amazing and then that little bitch ass went right to the locker room and didn't even <laughs> shake anybody's hands <laughs> what an asshole he's like, such a sore fucking loser like you know i get i, I get it no one's supposed to beat 
you, but you, every so yeah. often, you like Goliath got beat. Mm-hmm. The Harlem Globetrotters get beat every so often. Mm-hmm. Now, every every one of us gets beat. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't care how great you are, you know. But so, like yeah. the thing, the interesting thing is about about that particular game, um, specifically like. Like my my ex wife grew up outside of the country, and she was a was a she's been a follower of soccer just about all her life. Mm-hmm. Um, and she was texting me today back and we were going back and forth. She's like, "Did you watch that game?" And she hates football. Mm-hmm. Like she hates it with she think she she think it's just an impenetrable mess of people hitting each other. And yeah. on, on on some level, she's kind of right. Uh, yeah, but yeah, totally agree. But. At the same time, she was like, she was like, you know, that was the first football mm-hmm. game I had ever seen that reminded me of watching, like a soccer game. Um, and, you know, having watched Romanian teams most of her life, she, she would see them go to the Champions League in Europe and you know play against like Man United, Real Madrid, and every commentator is just against the little team because they're the biggest teams in the world. And what I liked is how you just saw the commentators just saying, yeah, it, it, thanks for coming out Eagles. Basically the entire game. Yeah. Like the, 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 the commentator, like, I mean, even when that er, that uh, Zach Ertz touchdown, they're like, yeah, that's yeah. definitely not going to count because yeah. it's the Patriots yeah. or like, or like when, whenever the, there was a, there was a contested call. Yeah. You can't do that to the Patriots. Well, mm-hmm. They beat them. Can they do that? <laughs> so, but yeah, like on that level, it was just it was just such a perfect storm. What's yeah. going on, Moose? Yeah, no, nothing, nothing. Sorry, just reading something from a buddy. But okay, um, messages, like throughout the day, just yeah. like. <laughs> but yeah, so um, so uh, highlights, gentlemen. What do you think, Corey? It. It was fine. We only watched. Like, <laughs> we only watched like part of it because I'm like, it's I don't. Fine. I don't you didn't have a dog in the fight. Yeah, I know. I didn't look. Okay, my football season for me ended in like September. Okay, because I'm a Browns fan. I, I think so. it ended in like pre-season. 1996 when they moved to Baltimore. <laughs> 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 to be honest. Uh, I mean, it was fine. I thought that uh, that reverse pass was cool, where they like put the quarterback in motion. And he oh, yeah, the, the, the Foles touchdown. The yeah. Foles oh, touchdown. Yeah, that the thing is going to be awesome. Oh, it's going to uh, be. You know, and especially because, like, Brady dropped the pass. Yeah, Brady like, like, pretty much did the same thing and did it right. He didn't even, <laughs> here's the thing. Like, he didn't even look for it. He was just putting out his hands and just waiting for the ball to fall in his hands. Like, he wasn't even looking over his shoulder. Yeah. Nothing to try and catch that ball. And it's like, are you freaking kidding me, Brady? Like, what are you doing, man? You know, that's yeah. not how you catch a ball. Yeah, but, it uh, was pretty. It was that play was pretty cool. Like and that was like, some that was some Boise State ass football. Oh yeah, like, like you yeah. don't like. I could see the like when and seeing I when I saw that touchdown happen, I had not seen the earlier Brady attempt because I was organizing mm. my I was organizing my vinyl and because right. right. I was getting it all on my new shelf that I built this weekend. Right, and then you know. I get we get done and I'm like, oh, Super Bowl's on. It's nine to three. Um, this is probably going to be a good one. And I convinced Reba to watch it, and we did. Yeah. And then when when I saw that, I was like, what? Yeah, it was insane. It was just it was freaking crazy. And then when they, then when they said Brady fucked it up, I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. yeah. And then like, what about the, what about the missed uh, points after touchdowns? Like both oh, teams. Dude. Both like, teams. What is going what is, on? And then what is happening? Goal? They're in a dome. I'm like, there's no wind. I'm <laughs> like, like, you're like maybe 20 feet away. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? You know? <laughs> so it, it was it was really a weird start to the game. And then the fact that the Pats were like down almost the entire game was that's insane. Not new, well, that's true. They do come from behind because they'll let you get ahead and then they wear you down and then just overtake you. Yeah. It's pretty much how a lot of college football games go as well. Like, I never cheer. Like, I always cheer for the underdog that wins, that's winning against Ohio State University. But, like, I know it's not going to stand because they'll just wear that team down and then just come from behind and win in, like, the last minute. And it's just like, whatever. It's, like, useless, you know. 
Sure. You know what? That was about 10 games this season for the Browns when they entered the third quarter winning and then they would end up losing. Yeah. 10 games this season. They could have won 10 games, man. They could have been contenders. Well, let's not go that far. They could have won <laughs> four games. <laughs> yeah. Legitimately, okay. they could have won four. Yeah. I, nice. I'm, <clears throat> you know, I just I'll put it out there. I'm a huge Browns fan. And like, I'm not going to sit here and say they could have won like. 10 games and went to the Super Bowl this year because yeah. clearly they couldn't. But mm-hmm. they could have won like four games this year. I don't know why. Like, I just don't understand. I don't understand the Browns, man. Just like yeah. I don't understand what the Cavs are doing. I don't understand why the Indians are taking Chief Wahoo off their uniforms. I don't understand racist, why we have a minor sure. league hockey team that wins every year. I don't get it. Well, I, I don't – I mean, I feel like – having the Indian logo might not be the racist part of it. No, you uh, want to know here. Fun history fact. Are you ready? Yeah. Cleveland Indians used to be called the Cleveland spiders. And back then their best player was native American. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and uh, when he retired and he went into like the Indians, well, the, whatever the spiders hall of fame or whatever, yeah, they changed yeah. the name to the Cleveland Indians to honor him. And Chief Wahoo, the original caricature of Chief Wahoo was a caricature of that player. Oh, so there is. Okay, so there's a legit history there. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. I think, well but see, like, I think the one part is they're, they're not Indians. They're Native Americans. Well. <laughs> and Indians, yeah. like, the reason they called them Indians is because they thought they were landing in the West Indies when they weren't. Right. <laughs> right. True. And I think. I think <laughs> and also, we're in Cleveland. Yeah. <laughs> well, so like, I, it should I, be Clevelandians. I think uh, I, while that is, you know, you can support that and be like, okay, you know what? That's not that's not bad. Like, that's cool paying tribute. It's not. To, like, it's it. not Redskins level. Yeah, racist. it's not <laughs> like. It's just okay. It's great that you've honored him. That's awesome that you did that. But maybe you want to change your, you know, your 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 uh, logo. Or whatever. So, I mean, yeah, I I feel like that there's there's probably good and bad for both of it. Um, yeah, but but yeah, no. Uh, so yeah, just a quick chat about about the Super Bowl because it was a big thing that happened, and it was a it was a phenomenal game, and yeah. and despite people lobbing. A bunch of hate at the halftime show. Yeah, it wasn't the best thing ever, but you know, you know JT wasn't bad. I don't think. Here's here's the thing though about the halftime show. Players have been begging the NFL to make the halftime shows shorter and mm-hmm. more concise because they don't want to be sitting in the locker room for an hour. Yeah. Right. Because yeah, well, yeah. You, you 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 basically cool off and you and you you're dead for the second. Yeah. Half. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but yeah. Anyways, Browns have the first pick. Drafts in April. Nice. See, and like the good thing, I'm predicting four wins for the Browns this year. All right, cool. nice. Are y'all going with the quarterback? Didn't didn't the quarterback that that could have been like awesome for y'all decide to like go back? We yeah, talked about that. He decided, that. To, go, he decided, he decided to, go to go back to college because he's like, I don't want to play in Cleveland. Yeah. yeah. But. Oh, that's that's horrible. But anyways, I think the the Eagles will pretty much have the same returning team next yeah. year, so they have a they have a good chance of defending. I think they said yeah. like something like eighty percent of the roster is returning or something. Yeah, or yeah. So I mean, contract as of right now, so right. Yeah, and Foles is on for another year, so it's like, what are they going to do? They're going to trade him. They got to keep him as a backup because Wentz is supposed to return hopefully yeah. by the beginning of the season, but they don't know that for sure. You right. know. And to be yeah. honest, I wouldn't want to try and rush that. You know what I mean? Like, Don't, I would be like, read, yeah, exactly. I read this really funny click hole article that, like, <laughs> after, as he was being handed the. Lombardi oh, the onion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah You've been like, traded yeah. to the Browns. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yes. <laughs> Damn it. No. no, like, I think, I think that there's a, there's a, there's a possibility for something cool here if if the Eagles can sort of keep the mentality they kept this season yeah, and, and, and keep it next season, because like, look, nobody, like, I mean, I was 
I was giving Moose shit at the beginning of the season because every time he did one of his <laughs> fly eagles fly posts, I was like, "Yep, yeah, all gonna end in tears." Just you wait, <laughs> happy <laughs> tears, <laughs> tears of goddamn joy. <laughs> um, so I was right on some level, uh, yeah. but <laughs> but like every like at every step, everyone's like, "Oh, it's the Eagles." <laughs> Here they are again, because like and, yeah. I mean, everyone yeah. was pre- like, I think I don't remember who they played the first round of the who, first round of the playoffs. The uh, Falcons. They well, played yeah. the Falcons, and then they played, and then they destroyed the Vikings. Well, like they beat the Falcons. No, it wasn't. It wasn't like a, it wasn't what they did to the Vikings. But no, no, it was it was a pretty close game, and then they pulled away at the end. Okay. Like, yeah, like it was. It wasn't decided until like maybe the mid to late fourth quarter. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it was. I mean, it wasn't like a nail biter, but it was definitely like it could have it could have gone mm-hmm. either way until they, I for, they did something I can't remember, but they did something to take like the lead again or whatever, or put like extra points on the board, and then just just it was just kept, done. Kept out ahead, yeah, kept out ahead, yeah. Um, and like I I thought it was interesting, just at every step of the way, everyone's like, yeah, the Eagles are the, this is where the Eagles go down, and 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 I mean even when they were going into the game with the Vikings, like. You know, I I love Todd Oxtra, uh, and I I I love Dan Phillips. Um, yeah. Both of, both of them were talking their smack like, "Oh, we're just gonna waltz through Philly. I just hope we don't have to play you know the Patriots in the Super Bowl." And I'm like, "Isn't Philly number one?" Yeah. Like, I'm like, I don't really, I don't really think you get number one over the course of a season, and you should be taken lightly. I mean, sure that I don't. I mean, I don't know players but i i know that if you were to go position by position the vikings probably have some better players at positions than the eagles do but that's they've been they they basically went on a tear finished top of their what is it, their conference yeah and and now everyone's like oh we'll take we'll take care of them no problem and then i mean even the patriots like they walked out you know I mean, I didn't see the the I I didn't start watching till I think they were up fifteen, I think, and or they were up fifteen to what nine or something like that. I don't remember yeah. the, the score when I watched, but like even the Patriots were like, "Yeah, this is this is just academic at this point." And then like they had to they had to go ham on Gronk in the third and fourth quarter to even make it look respectable. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and Gronk Gronk is just Gronk, like he's just that freaking dominant. Yeah, he's, <laughs> but, he's a good tight end. He's like he's end. he's probably he'll probably. I mean, I think he'll definitely be in the Hall of Fame. He might actually be one of the best tight ends ever, just because no one can seem to stop him when he gets going. Yeah. But yeah. um, but yeah, no. So congratulations to Moose and them Eagles. Uh, I wish it didn't come with as much violence. And horse I agree. As it did. Uh, I like that's the one thing I like Eagles fan, as an Eagles fan, I, like Eagles fans are just, it's like, why you gotta be like that? Mm-hmm. No need to be an asshole. Well, they're no not need the- to be like violent. Like I like uh Cezanne posted that video where like the Eagles fans were destroying the car, and it's like, okay, like, no, like what are you I gaining hope, from this? I hope they identify those people and I hope they charge them yeah. with property damage. And you know, and I hope they suffer the the consequences. The consequences. That's not cool. Like, no. don't be a fucking asshole. That's not like. How would you feel if you you parked your car somewhere, and then you come out, and all of a sudden, like fans of a, like a sport, you don't they, the person might not even give a crap. Mm-hmm. Comes out, you know, you don't even give a crap about football, and someone, I mean, like football, soccer, and they, <laughs> and they you know, they come out and they destroy all your car. And you come all out, of a sudden and like, you come back, and your car's in ashes. You're like, wait, what? You're like, what the, what the hell happened? Like, I don't remember pissing somebody off that bad, you know? Like, but, oh, you didn't. The sports team won. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, exactly. So. But, uh, but yeah, congratulations to the Eagles. Um, their Thank fans, you. their fans deserve to be happy. Uh, the the violence should stop, and you know, just act like. I mean, fucking Bear Bryant said it. Act like you've been there before. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, and, exactly. Have some, have some class, mm-hmm. have some class, and you know. But anyways, yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad the Patriots lost. I'm just yeah. 
I'm really I'm really tired of like like everything aside, like I'm really tired of seeing Bill Belichick's grumpy face on the sideline. I'm really tired yeah. of Tom Brady. Like I just mm-hmm. not that like I don't respect what they do, but yeah, I'm just tired of that. I'm tired. Yeah, of like them. I get it. You're the best <laughs> ever. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like and it's the best not, ever until someone else comes along. I mean, look yeah. at that. like Joe Montana was the best ever for a while. You know, I mean, Peyton Manning was the best ever. Peyton Manning was the best ever for a while. It's okay, I never perfect. got the Peyton Manning as the best ever because Eli won two before he did. He against the Patriots, Eli won one. I mean, he was like he was like Dan Marino. Like he was great on paper. Yeah. He just couldn't win championships. And yeah. I mean, not that no disrespect to Dan Marino, he was awesome but yeah, Denver, you know, like, i mean yeah. jim kelly too <laughs> yeah jim, jim, jim kelly, kelly got to was four to goddamn row donovan McNabb goes nah. to four nfc championships and can't you know just can't seal the deal in a super bowl which was yeah. the last super bowl yeah but anyway yeah, but but see like i didn't know that donovan McNabb hated playing for the eagles because like when when he left like there was just there was just fan rage. They're like so glad he's fucking gone, the goddamn traitor. And and I'm sitting there like, well, wait a minute, he led you to a Super Bowl. He, his numbers weren't terrible. But then like I, I learned all that. I'm like, oh, so he was he was kind of a, a dick. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I can I can kind of get on board now. Um, but yeah, so congratulations, yeah. Eagles. Do something surprising next season. And, but I, but by surprising, I mean good. I don't mean go zero and sixteen because we got the Browns for that. Um, before for Corey can react, ah, fuck the Bears. They suck. <laughs> they're, they're my team. They suck. I know. Uh, I know. <laughs> B side Nana and out.